My question is this. The Labour Party has a very good track record on women's rights, and particularly in investing in women's centres for vulnerable women and women who offend. But still more women than ever before are going into prison. And they're often victims themselves and overwhelmingly involved in low-level nuisance crime. Will you commit to support Baroness Corston's recommendations for investing in community support specifically for women and to curtail the unnecessary use of uh, prison for women? Uh, yes, we must back the Corston report. Jean Corston is a Labour peer. She was a former MP for Bristol. She did a fantastic report about women in prison. The huge numbers of women who are um, in uh, detention because of breaching bail conditions is one of the obvious ways in which the system is breaking down and we need to address that. Because the obvious effects on family, given that women are the primary carers in so many families, is absolutely key. And I think it's a fundamental principle of our society that prison and custody should be a last resort. So there must be an unequivocal yes to Francis's suggestion that uh, unnecessary prison sentences should be absolutely uh, minimised. Um, I've visited Holloway regularly down the years, 23 years as a member of Parliament, and I visited the mother and baby unit. And the officers do their very best, but the mother and baby unit in Holloway, in Holloway is an extremely sad place, and it's nowhere to bring up your child. Nine out of ten of women in prison are there for non-violent, non-physical offences. I think the numbers of women that we have stashed in prison is quite wrong. Over 60% of women remanded in custody don't go on to receive a custodial sentence. 55% of all self-harm incidents in prison are committed by women, even though they're only 5% of the total prison population. And furthermore, it is still possible to go into Holloway clean of drugs and come out with a drug habit, such as the regime and such are the problems with the way it is run. So I think I entirely agree with what Jean Coulson is trying to do, which is to have far fewer women in prison, offer alternatives to prison. I think the um, way in which we uh, manage and support um, offenders um, outside of prison is as important as what happens inside. And there is nothing more frustrating for people working in um, a, um, in a offending institution when the quality of the asset which arrives when a prisoner arrives is low quality and there's nothing more frustrating and damaging when you don't have a proper engagement early with um, the probation service and the offender management service when young know, people are going out of um, custody and if we can do that better by having a much greater role for, um, for um, you know, the wider probation service then we should do so and I agree with um, Diane on that point. Um, I also agree with Diane and David very much on um, um, the Corston Review and, um, uh, and, and, and I think, to be honest, they said it all. So, um, so Francis, in answer to your question, I agree with what others have said. But I think, you know, the government, our government, our last government, will get some stick tonight. I think we should get some credit, actually, for setting up the Causton Review. And as I understand it, 38 women's centres have been set up across the country. And the question now is defending those women's centres against the cuts that are going to come because that is a really important so part one, if you like, of implementing Jean Coulston's recommendations. The second part, as I understand it, is that magistrates and judges, and since I'm in opposition, I can sort of, it's more easier to say this, magistrates and judges still use custodial sentences too often uh, as, far as, women, uh, um, uh, as far as women are concerned. Uh, and there is clearly a need for a change in culture to prevent, if you like, the inflow into prison. So I think, and I think that is a really important sort of education task that needs to be done about the impact of women going to prison on them and their kids. Well, I could preface everything I say tonight with um, Andy says, but that would get a bit repetitive. So um, I'm just going to give you um, a few thoughts on this. Uh, first of all, Jean's report is an excellent report, and she recommends that there should be small regional centres set up uh, in local areas so that women can keep in contact with their families and keep those relationships, which will be absolutely key when they get discharged. I think Jean's report is more important 
than simply recommendations about how we treat women. I think Jean's report contains all the elements that we need to have if we're serious about criminal justice reform for everyone in this country. Because one of the reasons that women go to prison is about drug addiction, it's around alcohol, it's domestic violence, it's family breakdown, all of those issues. Those issues apply in many, many cases for the reasons why young men go to prison. And I think that we should be implementing Jean's recommendations in respect of women, but we should also be looking more seriously about some of the um, exploration that she's found, which I think have general implications across the criminal justice system.